Yes, this is there. Thank you, uh, CJ. Good afternoon, Mr. Ndewele. Good afternoon, CJ. Uh, I have uh, one question, one general question. Um, despite your 26 years in the legal fraternity, as you, as you put it, the papers that are before the commission indicate that uh, along with this experience, this long experience, there were instances where you were, you faced some disciplinary proceedings following some misconduct charges leveled against you. And the two I am zeroing in on relate to to generally to abuse of uh, JSC, your employer's vehicles, JSC vehicles. The one in 2015 where it is alleged, or it was alleged, you drove a vehicle, a JSC vehicle, for over 9,000 kilometers using your own fuel but without authority of the, of the, of the JSC or having the vehicle serviced and there was also some damage that resulted from that uh, use of the vehicle. You were found guilty and fined and I don't know whether it was in respect of this one that you were barred from driving any JSC vehicle for six months. And the other as recent, uh, the other charge uh, of uh, misconduct happened as recently as April this year, where you were also charged with abuse of a JSC vehicle. And I think there is one or two, there are one or two other similar cases. So the question is, would you say this type of conduct accords with the integrity, uprightness, honesty, respect for, for uh, conditions of service that govern you, uh, conduct that is, uh, does that accord with conduct that uh, is expected of a, of a judge of the High Court? Thank you, DCJ, for uh, bringing that uh, to my attention. Um, the f I, I am not aware of the second charge of misconduct that you, the DCJ is talking about. I have it not says the matter is still being investigated. I have not received, I have not been uh, notified about that. So I cannot answer authoritatively on that because no one has actually brought papers. The JC has not brought papers to me to say I actually abused the, 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 the motor vehicle, maybe at Philippos or something. I have no knowledge whatsoever on that whether it's being still investigated or what. It's uh, fair enough, but perhaps yes. uh, what about the other one? Yes, the, the 2015 the one. The other one, maybe if to put it into perspective, uh, I do believe it is. We're interested in is that you, you were brought before uh, a, 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 a commission of inquiry or yes. disciplinary yes. Uh, committee. You were found guilty. You were fined $250 something. Like that, so I don't. I am not expecting you to to, to defend yourself when you were, you've already been <laughs> convicted <laughs> and sentenced. Yes, I, I was actually found guilty not for for the for the allegations that were actually leveled against me and so on, because I defended that. What I was found guilty of ultimately, with the communication that I got, was that. Uh, is I was actually moved to the regional bench from Cholocho. 
I did not do a proper handover takeover with the magistrate who was coming in to replace me at that one main station in Cholocho. That is what I was found guilty of. All these other things, we, I actually defended them. I was only notified that you did not do this. And the, the penalty that I caught, which I did not uh, was that uh, I should uh, pay a fine of 500 US dollars, not 250. So the fine was actually levied on my salary for two months. Then um, I was then uh, barred from driving uh, JSC motor vehicles for a period of six months. That is the sentence that I got. And uh, now in relation to the, to the question that you have brought, Honorable DCJ, is that conduct, how does that conduct sit with me uh, as an aspiring judge of the High Court? I, I think that is uh, water under the bridge. The, the, I, I cannot defend myself that before because I was convicted and I never appealed. But I think I've actually learned. I actually learned uh, uh, quite a lot. The circumstances that led me to be given that motor vehicle are also water under the bridge. But I defended that and I think I'm a better person when it comes to the US of JSC property. As to the second charge, uh, I am not uh, sure of it. Yes, despite it being uh, water under the bridge, as you say, but th does that, does that, the question was, does such conduct accord with what is expected of a judge of the High Court? That is the question I'm asking. Yeah, yes. Whether it's water under the bridge or not, it was done. Yes, DG, DCJ, Honorable DCJ, um, that conduct, uh, if, uh, maybe from whichever angle it might be looked at, is actually doesn't sit well with the conduct of a judge. But then I think I was actually uh, working in the law, lower echelons of the judiciary. I think I learned my lesson and uh, I don't think I will uh, actually abuse or damage JSC property intentionally or negligent or in any other manner. Yes, thank you. I think I'm answered. Yes. yes. The next question I have, have you taken fuel from a politician to put a JSC vehicle? Yes. What does the magistrate's court of say about a magistrate accepting gifts from anybody? And in fact, is the impact when you are accepting a gift from a politician of people? Um, actually, the circumstances that led me to 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 to, to get fuel from the politician in Parliament in Philippines, maybe that is the source of the second charge. I don't know. Uh, we 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 we. Did an inspection in local and so supposed to do banking. Then what the, the politician then saw me, I think a stand, we, the motor vehicle had no fuel. And then the MMP saw me standing by uh, the corner uh, of the court, uh, hitchhiking to town. The meme is then the way, where are you going to? I said, No, I'm going to town to transact some JSC business. Of course, I did not tell him that I was going for banking. The money was in my pocket. Then he said, Why are you why are you hitchhiking? And then said, Ah, we do not fear fuel, we are yet to receive our coupons. Then ah, but, uh, you, 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 you can't go to, 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 to town hitchhiking. As somebody who is a, a magistrate in this place, maybe we can give you fuel. Then I, 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 I might have been wrong in accepting that fuel hours of the view. But did you disclose it after you accepted it? I, I actually did not disclose it, but I've disclosed it now. 
Earlier, when I was given the fuel, I did not disclose that I was given the fuel. I've actually asked the I asked the the MP to actually uh, write a, a letter or an affidavit to say he actually gave me the fuel in what circumstances, and it is then black and white. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Debele. Thank you, Chief Justice. Hello, Mr. Debele. Against a background of so many complaints uh, that have been highlighted to you, can you convince us as a panel that you are fit to be recommended for appointment to the position of a uh, court judge? Uh, 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 thank you, Commissioner Chingosho. <laughs> um, I'm not sure whether there are many complaints. I know of one that happened when I was at Cholocho that was dealt with. Okay, I have got one here, yes. uh, which is the 10 January 2024, as a complaint. That is the it's about. Uh, but I think you were given an opportunity to respond to it. No? Yes. You were asked about the Sheila Mpofu and Abed Luke and the Wele case. Yes. You were, there was the issue of uh, the motor vehicle. Uh, and what I'm referring to is against, against the background of all this, do you think you are proper to take up the position of a court judge? Even if it were one. Or even if it were one. Yes, I, uh, I know men. Uh, men, which also includes women, uh, judges, they are not saints. Men are not saints. There will be one or two instances where you might misstep. And I think this one of the Chorocho uh, motor vehicle is one such misstep. And I don't think it can actually disqualify me uh, from the position of uh, the judge of the High Court, that particular one mistake. Uh, the, the Sheila Mpofu is not, to my understanding, a complaint. It is actually still pending at the High Court. The, the, the lawyers have not moved it. We have engaged the registrar. In fact, it was I think as recently as uh, February or so, it was then removed from the role for, it was struck off the role for want of prosecution. They did not follow it up. So I do not understand how it can then be termed a complaint because it was out of my hands. It was taken there as a review or appeal. The only complaint which I do not think affect my being appointed to this esteemed position of the judge of the High Court. The, the one for the Cholocho, I don't think it can stand on my way. And uh, I do not want to, 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 to say again, it is water under the bridge. But it is water under the bridge because it has been Mr. David, I think I'm answered. Yes. Thank you.